Hey guys, Mike here at Amish Tutorials, and welcome back to a new video. All right, well, as usual, we're going to do a subscriber request today. And the question that I received was, can you model a um, damaged, you know, or cracked street surface? Okay, so let's do that. All right, we're going to start by uh, creating a simple polygon plane. And I'm going to hit R, and I'm going to scale that up and pull that out. Something like that. As far as subdivisions is concerned, I think it looks okay. We're at 10 by 10. I'm going to right click, go to edge, and I'm going to click and shift, double click to select that entire edge. Let's try that again. And let's do the same at the other end. And I'm going to go to edit mesh, extrude, hit W, pull that up. That's going to be our curve height. We do want to too high then we're gonna hit G to repeat last command we're gonna hit R to pull that out to about there G to repeat last command W to pull down very slightly that's too much G to repeat last command R to scale it out just a little G to repeat last command W to pull up again and especially here, you want to make sure that you're not too high. That's about right. And then G to repeat and R to scale out. All right. And that's going to be our sidewalk. Okay. So we have our road surface, we have our curve, and we have our sidewalk. Okay. Next, we're going to right click, go to edge, and we're going to select that uh, curb edge. And do the same at this end. And we're going to go to Edit Mesh and Bevel, which kind of gives us this effect. Now, if you don't like that, you can increase segments to get it more rounded. But I kind of think that this looks all right. So that's cool. And to add some detail later on, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Mesh Tools, Injured Edge Loop Tool Option Box. Let's do three subdivisions and we'll add three here and three right there okay all right now before we're going to tweak the surface we're first going to add some materials so i'm going to right click and go to face what i actually do is turn off my grid here display and grid okay so i'm at face i'm going to right click face select that face row and hit shift period to increase that selection and that as well right click assign new material let's go with the Lambert and I'm going to hit my checkered square here go to file folder and then on my desktop I have this and we're going to use um, road asphalt for that this one right here let's turn on our sphere and let's see what we got all right looks a bit stretched out so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select that again as we did before we're gonna go to UV automatic projection didn't change a lot so we're gonna go to UV and UV editor and looks like our shell is covering the entire surface fine. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to repeat that UV. Okay. So we're going to go in um, to, let's see, let's delete the history here for a second. Right click object mode, edit, delete by type history. There we go. So let's select that again. Right click face. This is our Lambert 2. So we'll change the name to Asphalt. All right. And we're going to click on this checker thing here. We're going to go to Place 2D Texture 1. And in Coverage, uh, let's see, we got Repeat UV. I'm going to repeat this in this direction. So I'm going to hit 2 and hit Enter. 
and now you see it looks a lot better okay so that one's good then what we're going to do is we're going to look at the curve here so let's take that hit shift period to increase that selection and then go over here and do the same well oh, we've got a little bit too much going on there we should be good I'm gonna right click assign new material a new Lambert hit my checkered box select file and in my file tab I'm going to open the folder and I'm going to use the uh, concrete material uh, let's see how that looks which is kind of nice I guess yeah cool and then next we're going to look at our sidewalk okay so I'm going to take that hit shift period to increase that selection and then select that and actually um, I'll do it this way all right right click assign new material Lambert checkered box file and folder and that's going to be I call it street tiles but I think it's more like brick or something all right and that seems to be um, displayed correctly now it's not a seamless texture so you can see some repetition there and I would kind of advise on using something that is seamless but for the purpose of this tutorial I guess it's okay so we got that um, now let's see if we have everything named properly so we got that as our asphalt that one should actually that one is asphalt yeah that should be our street tile situation so let's see if that's true street tiles and that would then be concrete and hopefully I didn't screw that up all right so next what we're going to do is we're going to apply some bump maps so I'm going to select this face row hit shift period we're going to go to our concrete uh, sorry no asphalt yep we're going to go to our bump map and I'm going to open a file once again I'm going to go to my folder and I have this asphalt bump that I created and this is nothing else than the original image that I uh, converted to black and white in Photoshop and I increased the contrast that's it okay so let's open that up you can see that the bump is quite strong so we're gonna go back to our bump to the one there let's de decrease the depth to about 0 0.25 which looks a lot more realistic yeah all right good good then we're gonna select our curve here and that's where something is not quite right that should be right here yeah we're in our concrete tab file let's select our concrete bump and I did the same thing there and again hopefully that is set up correctly yeah, it is yeah I'll get in close so you can see it better this is quite rough so let's do about 0 0.9 okay and then we got our street bricks if we want to call it that and again that should uh, let's see street tiles that should be that one yet yeah. we're gonna repeat the process select file folder and I got my street tiles 
bump. There we go. We're going to go to the bump section here. And let's see how deep we want that to be. Let's bring that down just a little. Let's try 0 0.25. All right. So we're not quite there yet. So we got all that. Now let's kind of tweak the look of our street. Everything is way too straight. Okay. So we're going to right click, go to edge, and let's start by selecting all of these edge rows. And we're going to hit W and we're going to very slightly raise that. Then we're going to skip one from each end. And we're going to repeat that. And we're going to do that again. Just to simulate a sense of drainage. Let's deselect this guy, yeah. And the goal is don't make it look too flat, okay? Then we're gonna right click at our vertex. And we're gonna hit B on our keyboard. And if you hold down B and left click and drag, you can make the uh, affected area bigger or smaller. We'll do something like this. And then we'll randomly select some vertices push them up, push them down. We'll do the same on our sidewalk here, just to kind of make sure it's not too straight as it usually wouldn't be. All right, cool. Okay, so we got that. Let's find a nice angle. We're gonna set up some lighting as well. Create lights and directional light. Pull that up. Hit seven on our keyboard to activate our light and then hit E and rotate it. All right, so let's first find a nice angle for our render. Turn on our resolution gate. That would probably be it, yeah. So we've got our light set up. We've got some shadow going on there. We're gonna go to our render settings. Come on. I'm gonna do this in mental ray. In my common tab, I'm gonna set this to HD 1080. Quality tab, let's do about 1.5. Lighting looks okay. We're gonna go to our legacy options and we're gonna set up global illumination. In our scene, we're gonna leave that as is and looks like we're good to go, all right? So I'm gonna pause the video, hit render and see you guys in a sec. All right, guys, well, this is our render. Uh, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna just save this as the uh, street render, if you will, and I'll uh, save that out, and then we'll just uh, quickly pop into Photoshop and tweak it a bit. All right, here we are. As you can see, it looks quite different. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to image. Let's give Autotone a try. That's not bad. Uh, let's see, auto contrast, I'll probably want to tweak that. And I usually stay away from auto color because I'll show you what I mean. This kind of uh, gives a very different approach. But as we're gonna um, adjust it manually, I'm just gonna go to adjustments, brightness and contrast, let's see. We'll bump the brightness up just a little bit. And I'll do the contrast about there, okay? All right, 
so this is our final render. Uh, I think the effect of the busted up street worked okay. Uh, and, you know, as usual, if you spend a little bit more time on this topic, you can get some fairly realistic uh, scenes. All right. So that said, thank you guys for watching and love to see you guys next time. Bye.